It's good to manage PP ground because you need to prep the land for the following year's crop. Um, with PP, it's extremely important to to get your couple years of insured crop on that field. Um, so by using cover crops as an option to manage water or manage salts or find a way to build the soil biology or, or get rid of fallow syndrome is really important when it comes to next year's crop. First thing, the most important thing would be that if a, if a cover crop is planted that it's not hay or grazed prior to November 1st. But if you do that, Prior to November 1, you uh, reduce your preventive planting payment by 65%. Uh, you end up at 35%. The preventive planting ground normally is wet grounds, and uh, it's seeded in July. So I think one of the tips you want to look at is which, uh, which of the different types of plants do you want to plant. In other words, you need to have a mix of warm seasons and cool seasons. Uh, the idea is to try to use plants that will use up water uh, during the summer growing season and during the fall growing season. Whatever you want to accomplish with your preventive plant acres is crucial and then you can put together a mix based upon that. Um, and using the right seed for the job, you can use different grasses, broad leaves, legumes, they all have different um, purposes and help you accomplish things in different ways. So it's really crucial when we're putting together mixes that we pair the right things up with each other and the right rates and everything. It's prevent plant acres. You need something that's going to infiltrate water. Um, you want to maybe hold on to some of the nutrients if you've already spread fertilizer. Um, maybe you're able to, to graze it later on in the season with cattle or, or you could harvest it for hay. If you develop and distinguish what that goal is, then it's pretty easy to put together a plant of species that'll make sense for you. Um, kind of the top three important things in dealing with cover crops is uh, maximizing seed to soil contact is really important. Um, so any way that's achieved, uh, generally when you treat the cover crops more like your cash crop, you have more success. So um, getting at a proper depth, um, working the seedbed is really, really crucial. Um, generally mixes over individual species tend to work the best, so we tend to recommend that. Um, some districts offer technical, well all of them offer technical advice. Um, others offer different services, whether that's a no-till drill. Um, some districts offer seeding mixes, so it just depends on your district and I would just recommend anybody go in and talk to them. We want to make them something that will work on their ground and we're here to just help them get the right product and the right mix.